Oh, for fast sake, come on! This stuff sucks. <sighs> hey, um, Freddy? Oh, afternoon, baby. Is there something I can help you with? Nothing really. I haven't had much to do all day. But I was wondering if you'd maybe want some paperwork help. You mean this paperwork? Well, I don't know about that, BB. You see, paperwork is a pretty big deal when running a company, which means it needs to be done right. And well, no offense, I don't think you're someone who'd have the capabilities to do this. Well, I could always learn. Who says price corner animatronics can't learn to do paperwork like how you can? BB, it's not that easy. This is a job for animatronics who know how to actually do this stuff. That's why Toy Freddy is my assistant. If it was that easy, then I would have told Bonnie to help me with it ages ago. Or heck, someone else for that matter. <sighs> whatever. Excuse me? Nothing. I'm gonna get going. Okay. I guess. Um, I don't know. Aren't you a little young to be making pizza? Chica, I'm older than you. Data bill doesn't count. That's besides the point. I can do things by myself. Making a pizza from scratch can't be too hard. Actually, it is. There's things like proofing the dough, shaping it correctly, and balancing out your sauce and toppings to ensure you're not overdoing it, plus making sure it cooks under the right time. You already have the first half done. I can put on the sauce and cheese for you. I think you might overdo it, BB. It's best to let a professional handle this. I appreciate the helping hands, but please, it's me and Cupcake's Pizza. We're fine handling it ourselves. <sighs> fine. <sighs> Look, I'm awful sorry, baby, really. I just don't think you have any experience with fixing vehicles. Oh, come on, Springtrap, I just want to help. I'm tired of being undermined by others just because I'm a kid. You being a kid has nothing to do with your capabilities. It's just that there are certain tasks that we can do, and then there's some that we just can't. But I'm tired of doing the same old thing for the past 36 years. I want to try being more independent, start doing things I've never done before. Just anything to prove I'm more than just your typical balloon vendor. Well, I mean, you don't have to do things out of your league to prove anything. You can always just switch it up, you know? Switch it up? How? Well, for starters, Inflating different sass balloons. Or by greeting guests at the front of the building with set balloons. Hmm, I could try that. Yeah, that might be a nice change of pace. It would also make me do more than just hand out balloons. Do you know where the helium tank is? Sure do. Here, hang tight for a second. I'll go get it for ya. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike. Come right in. Hey there, would you like a balloon? Would I ever? Can I have a green one? Of course you can. My balloons come in all sizes and colors. Here you go. Thanks, BB. You're awesome. No problem. See you around. BB, what are you doing out here? Well, some of the others think I'm not responsible enough to handle tasks outside my balloon vendor skills just because I'm built as a kid. So I decided to take matters in my own hands and switch it up, I guess. No offense, BB, but how is handing out balloons outside the pizzeria instead of the inside going to make a difference in how others view your dependence? Because it'll mean I'll be front and center when the guests enter the building and ready to hand them out balloons. It's like I'm taking my own steps to do something instead of being asked to. Alright, well, have fun out here, and, uh, be safe. Will do! <laughs> be safe. I'm just handing out balloons. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, ladies. On break two? Uh-huh. We were showing the guests some music lessons for an hour. It's nice to enjoy dancing, but sometimes a ballerina needs to rest her legs. How long have you two been on a break for? Fifteen minutes, but we're due for our next show in five. <laughs> What's all that ruckus? It sounded like BB. I, I think he's in trouble. <gasps> Guys, help! I can't get down! <gasps> oh my! BB, what happened? 
Somebody asked for a balloon double its size, but it took me off the ground before I could even give it to them! How is this possible to blow a balloon that big? Maybe he ordered extra large ones, but I don't think BB has ever used those before. Don't worry, BB! I'm coming! Where are you going? Going to the rooftop! <laughs> Time for this chicken to fly! <laughs> 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 That was anticlimactic. I'll give her credit for bravery, but whoever owns that car is gonna have a bone to pick with us. I don't believe this. What are we going to do, Freddy? I'm as clueless as you are, Ballora. You know what? I'm showing you down the pizzeria for emergency reasons. Baby, you will escort people out, and Ballora, get Chico to the parts and service room. Hey, yo, bro! What the hell happened to my car? Did you morons do this? Uh, I apologize for the inconvenience, sir, but you and your son need to leave. We have an emergency going on. What? How are you gonna expect me and my kiddo to leave if we have no car? Uh, just call an Uber? You're paying for the repairs! This'll be going on your review page! Come on, Dad. Just let it go. Alright, listen up. We have an emergency on our hands. At around 10.30 a.m., BB overinflated a balloon, which lifted him off the ground, and now he's floating precariously over downtown. Oh my! I hope the lad is okay. He won't be for long if he loses his grip, which is why we have to save him before that happens. Anybody got any ideas? How about Baby inflates extra large balloons from her fingertips, and once she gains elevation, rescues BB and brings him back here? That's a bad idea, and the balloons wouldn't be strong enough to lift me up from the ground. Even if it did, how would I be able to get myself down? Oh, you do have a good point there. Does anybody else have a suggestion? I think I got an idea. How about we follow BB into the city, and once he loses his grip, we would be right there to catch him. Like how Phantom Freddy managed to catch Phantom BB when Baby gave him that balloon. That would work if BB wasn't so high off the ground. Falling from that height would most surely kill him if we failed to catch him. And even if we did, we'd probably break our arms in the process, cushioning his fall. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Take a table and attach a bunch of balloons hoping it would float? And just pick up BB from there? Wait, what am I saying? It's a stupid idea. Hold the phone. Toy Barney, what did you say? Attach balloons to a table? Don't worry, don't worry. I know it's a pretty stupid idea. Hmm, it might be stupid, Toy Bonnie, but stupid might just be the thing to work. There is no way we're going to this plan. I mean, come on, guys. Two sets of table, a crap tons of balloons, us taking a ride to the sky isn't going to save BB's life. You know, maybe a jetpack would be more efficient than this crap. Does it look like we can afford a jetpack? This might be our only shot at saving Baby Toy Bonnie. Unless you have another idea floating in your head. Ugh. Well... Alright, fine. But I don't think this would be practical. Everything seems to be all tight. How are we doing on balloons? My helium tank is getting low, so this thing better take off soon. Huh? Oh, nuts! I'm out of helium! Already? There goes the jinx effect. I told you guys this was a stupid idea. Well, I guess it's back to the drawing board. Uh, Toy Freddy? We're actually taking off? Hmm? Whoa! Uh, 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 baby, give me a hand! Hold on, guys! Ah! That could have been a disaster. That explains why we weren't taking off. Your weight overwhelmed the balloons. I think this would be a better mission for lightweight animatronics. No offense, Toy Freddy. None taken. So I expect you, Toy Chica, and possibly Mangle to be the ones to save BB? Wouldn't Mangle also make us too heavy? No, since she's mostly just exposed endo parts, she doesn't have a lot of weight on her. There's a reason why she can climb on walls and ceilings. Oh, good point. Well... Let's stop wasting time and get to the skies! Be careful out there. 
Nobody can hear me from this height. What am I supposed to do if I keep floating and all of a sudden into outer space and I'll be lost forever? <sighs> Calm down, baby. Calm down. You'll get out of this one way or another. On a bright note, I do have an amazing view from here and everything looks so tiny from my feet. <laughs> Don't look down. That should be rule number one. Don't look down. You know, after all my years of being a pirate, I never thought I'd get to sail the sky. I quite like it. I don't know why I think this is such a dangerous idea. You girls know I'm afraid of heights. But like Freddy said, it's a good idea. But what about us? The more time we spend fighting BB, the more our altitude would increase. If the balloons pop, we would all plummet to our deaths! Honey, calm down. You're letting your fear of heights get the better of you. Don't focus on what's below you. Focus on what's above. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll try. I just hope BB is okay. I think we all do. Any updates, Mangle? Nothing yet. Wait. So, uh, what are you doing? Are you tracking him with your sense of smell? I didn't know you could do that. Aye, this nose can smell just up to 12 miles. Anxiety. Adrenaline. Fear. Balloon boy, he's nearby. We head towards the south, lads. Um, we don't have anything to steer the base with. Oh, then we need something that can act as a sail. Ah! Hey, get off! What the? A kite? Get this thing out of here! Wait, maybe the kite can help us steer. Yeah, give me that. Hey, my, my kite. kite! Sorry, kid, but it's an emergency! What the? Sorry, sir. What are the odds? I don't know how much longer I can take. Ooh. Stop it! Stop! Shoot! Stupid bird! Shoot! Ow! Stop! Balloon boy at nine o'clock. What? It's past 10 a.m., Mangle. Have you ever heard of- Ugh, never mind. Mangle, he's being pecked at by a bunch of pigeons. We better hurry. They could pop his balloon by pecking at him. Ugh, stupid birds. Not on our watch. Toy Bonnie! On it! Hmm? BB! Over here! Huh? What's that? Guys? Where did you come from? You can thank me later for this, but stay calm and don't freak out. It's kind of hard to do that with these stupid pigeons bothering me. And marking their territory on me. We need to be closer to Bibi. Toy Bonnie, get us closer to him. I'm doing that as we speak. Ah, no! Oh, I knew luck wouldn't be on our side. can't get any closer to BB, then he might have to jump for it. What? Are you insane? He'll shatter into a million pieces if he does that. I think he's talking about our base, Toy Chica. And judging by the distance and the wind, I guess he could land on our base. Though one of us will have to catch him. I can do that. BB, you're going to have to make a jump for it. A jump for it? I don't know if you noticed, TB, but I'm clean on my life as it is. Trust me, BB. Just swing towards us and let go of the balloon. The momentum will make you fall forwards and you'll be able to land into my arms. I, I can't. I, I can't. It'll be okay. As long as we're here, nothing can harm you, BB. Now jump. We've got a small window to close.
Okay. Here I go. What? I think she said we got you. Oh, okay. Pull me up now! Uh, we're trying! Uh. 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 It's okay, BB. You're safe now. That was quick thinking, guys. Thank you. You're welcome, lad. One thing's for sure. I am never in flame giant balloons again. You got that right. Next stop, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Ah, <sighs> home sweet home. You betcha, kiddo. Now, how are we gonna get down? That's easy. We pop our balloons one by one. We don't want to plummet straight down if we do them all at once. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm staying out of this one. Suit yourself. Hmm? Uh, am I the only one hearing things? Ah! Ah! What's happening? <gasps> the ropes are coming loose! We'll break apart if we don't land soon! And we'll surely die from this height! Start popping balloons! Ah! Ah! So, how much are we looking at for the damages? I have no clue. Somewhere around eight to nine grand. I don't want to think about it, honestly. <laughs> Guys? Guys! Oh no. BB! BB! Come on! Come on, stay with me. BB! Uh, Bonnie? Oh, thank goodness. Are you hurt? Freddy told me what happened. No, but I think that's enough flying for me today. And maybe even for the rest of my life. Oh, I live. Ugh, I think I dislocated my shoulder. Other than that, I guess I'm okay. I think my beak fell off. I'll have to look for that later. Let's get you the parts and service toy, Bonnie. BB, do you need to be checked in for repairs? No, I'm good. You guys just worry about toy Bonnie. Okay. Thanks for rescuing me, guys. No problem, little dude. Now, baby, I can assume you've learned a thing or two from this? I certainly did. And honestly, I'm fine where I'm at. Sorry for causing you any trouble, Freddy. No, nah, it's okay. But, you can help me by repairing the window if you want. I'll need someone to man the chalk gun. Really? Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. Of course. Now let's get to work. 